Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2018 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Bob Anderson. His presenter is Mr. Bill Anderson. Bob Anderson was a CIF Southern Section Champion in high school. Bob also wrestled at El Camino Community College where he was a two-time conference champion. He won the state championship twice and was selected as the outstanding wrestler. He continued his wrestling at Adams State College where he was a conference champion and an NC2A All-American. Bob won the National Freestyle Open Championship and was a champion in the ensemble style of wrestling. Bob served as an Olympic coach as well as the World Cup. He started the Jets Wrestling Club and his Jets teams won 14 national championships. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted in the 2018 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Bob Anderson. Thank you. Okay, I'm not going to go through all uh, thanking everybody, my son, my daughter, and everything else, even though I don't have one. <laughs> I'm going to just get right to it. Uh, how I got into wrestling. I never wanted to be a wrestler. My football coach forced me to come into wrestling. He says, I want you to try wrestling. And I said, no, I'm not jumping off the top ropes. I've seen Freddie Blassie and Gorgeous George. I'm not doing that. And he goes, no, it's nothing like that. If you don't come out and try wrestling for two weeks, two and a half weeks, he says, you're not getting your letter in football. Oh. So reluctantly I went out, practiced, and I was done, and I said, Coach, I'm done. I'm getting my letter in football, right? And I was ready to leave. And little did I know that he was the head wrestling coach. <laughs> and he says, no. I what do you mean, no? I, you have to wrestle with the varsity guy one match and you just have to try real hard and if you don't if you quit or anything then i'm not letting you go i said okay i can do that so i went out and i wrestled the varsity guy really tough i lost by one point i'm going this guy's varsity and i'm only out for two weeks i can become varsity wrestler so I challenged him every week, lost by one point. <laughs> but there's a verse in the Bible that says, so a man thinks in his heart he is. So I kept believing I could do this. So towards the end of the season, probably the last third, I started beating him. This guy's name was uh, Glenn Acock. He was a real strong Christian kid. And so I met him later on at a reunion. And I asked him, Glenn, why did you lose to me being a varsity guy, a CIF placer? I said, did you have senioritis or something like that? And he goes, no, Bob, you didn't know? Know what? He said, Coach Bonheim told me to keep it close. He needed a 165 pounder out of the team, so I had to keep it within one point all the time to get you excited about wrestling. <laughs> so, I, I had a smart coach. He outsmarted me. And here I am in wrestling. So, I'd like to talk to you. You know, I can tell you about, they told you I was CIF champion. I coached world teams, but I also co coached the submission world team to, uh, in 2007, and we swept all nine golds. I was pretty proud of that. Pan American Games team, two-time uh, gold medalist, myself and coach, and I was a freestyle silver medalist. So I you can go on my, my athletes in action team. I competed and coached with them and we won two national titles in 72 and 75. Anyway, that's enough of that. Uh, I'd like to tell you about the story, how I was training for the 1968 Olympic trials, going to Long Beach State, working at my master's, and how I won the whole, there's four divisions that you could qualify 
in the United States uh, to be, at that time, uh, make the uh, final Olympic trials. And then they had NCAA champions and other people come in. But, so I pinned everybody I wrestled. And I just became a Christian just, oh, about four or five months before that. And I was wondering about the Christian life. I was trying to read the Bible and it had all these these and thous and I didn't know what thou for what thee was. And I was saying, God, you got to help me out here. I, I don't understand this. So I'm on the plane. I go on back to Iowa. And this guy sitting next to me, his name is Pat Patriciano. He was one of the guys that started Athletes in Action. I got four minutes, I'm good. <laughs> and, and so uh, 